Welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with Clark Kellogg. Just ahead on College Hoops Tonight, we'll take a look at the upcoming big games of the week in College Hoops, as well as take a look at all the exciting games of the week. But let's start off with who we selected for our NCAA Player of the Week. Games is our choice this week, and he might be winning an even bigger award at the end of the year. There is a lot of talk about him as a Player of the Year candidate. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. A meeting between a pair of top 10 teams is always entertaining, and there's certain to be plenty of action in this game. Neither side is going to give an inch in this contest. You can be sure of that. Rutgers should come out on top if I had to make a prediction. Their backcourt is so solid this year, and their guards love to get out and run. That gives them a huge advantage in a game that should be as fast-paced as this one will be. But that's not the only item on the schedule that has NCAA fans buzzing. Anytime a pair of top five teams squares off, it has the potential for major ramifications when the tournament committee gets together to discuss potential number one seeds come March. Cal plays a brand of defense that should make the difference in this game. They are a tough, tough team to score against. And if you don't squeeze the orange, they'll take it. I think they'll be in top form for this contest. There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days, so let's take a look at our games of the week. We kick it off with a big-time conference matchup in the America East Conference. In the ACC, Clemson got by North Carolina. The Clemson Tigers made the most of their opportunity to move up, and that's going to serve them very well as we get closer to conference tournament time, even if it's just in seeding position. Clemson really pounded the glass with tenacity this game, and it paid off for them. They boxed out well and made sure that they didn't give up any second chance opportunities. That's always an area that can really be an indicator of a team's performance, and the rebounding numbers told the tale in this one. We don't get to see two top five teams on the court together very often, but that's just what our next game gave us. Oregon overpowered USC. The Oregon Ducks really had to scrape this one out. Neither team wanted to blink first because they knew what a win like this does for their potential seeding in March. Saman was not going to be denied. His 21 points led the team. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. That's our show, everyone. For all of us here at the 2K Sports Studios, thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurance.